I'm gonna level with you guys right now. I'm a little miffed because I just did a review video and uh user error on my part video got deleted so doing this yet again um it is as of right now january 1st 2019 so happy new year to you guys um i know it's been a long time since i've been doing reviews holiday seasons were busy um house is still a pretty big mess even afterwards um Still in the process of getting things cleaned up. So that's why we're here in my animal room that I have. I've got a gecko eyeing me down right now. She looks pretty pretty pissy as usual. You guys can't see her, so. But that's not why I'm here. We're here for a review. Before I get into that, I'm going to go over a couple things that I have coming up. Um, I have more sauces. I'm going to be doing... Torchbearer hot sauces. These are all good burns. Um, from what I tried, they're all sevens to nines on heat, if not higher. So we'll see how I do with those. Um, I also have the newest Scovy Award winner from Bravo Sauces. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing that here in the not too distant future. And then I also have. Troy Primo's Premonition hot sauce, so I'm going to be giving that one a try. And then I have a challenge video for you guys, and I don't usually do challenges. Um, but I have a friend who really wants to do it with me, and she wants me to record it, so I'm going to oblige. Uh, Roger was nice enough to get me two Toe of Satan suckers. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is a cinnamon lollipop mixed with 9 million Scoville extract. So, that's going to lay some hurt on us. When I get to that point, I will go over all the rules and everything that involves that. So, those are things I have going on. Um, let's get back into this review again. So, today... I have Z's Black Label Hot Sauce. Now, since I already, um, I already tasted it and all that, I'm going to tell you what I gave it right off the get-go. It is a 9 on flavor, and it is a 1 on burn, 2 for if you're a non-chili head. It doesn't have very much going for it as far as, as burn goes, but it's really big on flavor. Now, the things I smell out of this sauce are the garlic and onions. Those are almost always the first thing I can pick up. I also smell the shallots that are in here. I smell a little bit of the vinegars. This has balsamic vinegar and red wine vinegar. And don't worry, I will read off all the ingredients um, here in a second, but it smells delicious. It smells like steak sauce really robust steak sauce um there was one of the reviewers who said that you'll switch from a1 to z's black label sauce after you try it and it, i would it's it just tastes better um i'm not gonna do it a whole spoonful because i've already done it once i don't want to do it again um you have it a taste It's good. Um, I'll put that with steak, fish, like sushis. Um, I would put that on chickens, pork chops, anything like that. It's it's a good sauce. First the ingredients, it is garlic, shallot, jalapeno, cherry juice, clove, balsamic vinegar, cumin, Himalayan salt, cayenne, cilantro, water, red wine, vinegar. Um, I thought there was onion in here, but there's not. 
but I definitely taste the the, car the garlic and the shallots, the cumin, and the clove. And then I taste a little hint of the cherry juice and the peppers, the jalapeno and cayenne. Like I said, it is a one on the burn for me. The hottest pepper in there is the cayenne, and that's leaf fourth from the bottom. Don't taste the cilantro too much. I'm sure I there's little traces of it in there, but I'm not really picking it up. But yes, I would use that as a steak sauce replacer. That is good stuff. It's also a little bit of a soy sauce replacement as well. Um, it is very good. Um, not on flavor, one on the burn. Um, I will be putting a link for Z's in the description. They have a lot going for them. I would say that the Shield Maiden is still my favorite as far as the flavor and burn balance. But if you're looking for straight flavor, the Black Label is a good sauce to go to. It definitely has meats in mind and it would pair very well with it. Um, That's all I got for this one, you guys. I want to wish you guys, once again, a very happy new year. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to more videos here in the not too distant future. Probably this weekend. Should be seeing more of them. That's all I've got for this one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you again later.